the exact science of how Bitcoin works and is calculated is not possible. I wonder why that is. Well, that is because Bitcoin is mathematical and has nothing to do with science itself. So in this video today, we are going to delve in exactly why you need to be very conscious about what is going on in the crypto space, where we are, and what does our timeline look like? Well, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for more information like this. Stay tuned right to the very end of the video because I have an impactful bit of content for you. Thank you for being here with me today and welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. I'm Kiara DeCass. Thank you once again for being here with me, my beautiful subscribers. We're almost at 1.6K. Let's smash it through. All right, guys. So today on the Morales money bubbles, we are bleeding, bleeding. The blood is on the streets, but you have ETH, um, which is pumping, which is very interesting. And we'll talk about that throughout the session. We have Pulse, Uni, PulseX, Link, Matic, Fix, Tau, Hex, IMX, Casper, and Steph all pumping just a little bit. Everything else is pretty much down kind of 3 4% for the day, guys. Not bad considering where we are right now. Well, as you can see here, according to the Crypto Banter Bubbles, we are literally seeing crazy pumps. And remember, this is for the week. We are seeing some huge pumps over the course of this week so far. So I guess that just is what it is, right? Crypto is pumping. And if you're missing out on it, well, then I don't know what I can do for you guys anymore. Because if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then I don't know how you are going to make yourself a success during the course of this bull cycle. So let us delve into the beautiful cryptocurrency market cap. Today is at $1.734 billion, trillion, down 0.3% for the day. Kind of creeped up yesterday, just a little bit down for the day, so it's not so bad. Nearly $70 billion in trading volume, which is amazing. When has uh, dropped dramatically since uh, it's been pumping over the past few days. And these guys here are pumping and Pith is also pumping. Bitcoin is currently down 1.1% for the day, but up 8% for the week. Ethereum is up 1.1% for the day and 4.8% for the week. So is it Ethereum's turn for a pump? Well, I hope so, uh -huh. but we'll have to find out in my next video. So today, BNB is up 0.2% at $306. Solana's at $101. XRP is at $0.50. Cents. Uh, Lido's at $2334. Cardano's at $0.50. Cents. And Avalanche is at $34.75. Cents. Not bad, considering we have seen quite a bit of uh, choppiness in the market. Today, the Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 60 after yesterday's 61. And the previous day is 55. So, you know, lots of stuff happening. Not much else news in the market. However, I do want to say to you that Fidelity Bitcoin ETF rakes in a reported $208 million offsetting Grayscale's outflows alone. Let me say that again. Alone. Okay, so outflows from Grayscale's Bitcoin funds slowed for the fifth day in a row, while Fidelity's spot Bitcoin ETF saw one of its stronger inflow days um, since launch. So as you guys can see here, this is according to James Seifart, and this was from about two days ago, but Grayscale's GBTC mains its liquidity crown trading 570 million and 110 million more than the second place IBIT. So not bad considering what is going on. Um, all right, so let's go and have a little bit of a squiz at some of the news today. So. Grayscale's Bitcoin outflows have fallen about fallen for six days in a row to just 190 million yesterday. So boom, 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 boom. And this has been the accumulation flow correction. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you guys are missing out on the opportunity to buy Bitcoin, then I can't help you guys because you know you don't know what's going on. So this is incredible because Everyone wants Bitcoin, but I can't say everyone because if everyone did, they would have been buying ready. So a lot of people who are smart want Bitcoin. What is that? And what does that look like? Well, breaking the German police sees 50,000 Bitcoin worth 2.17 billion euros allegedly bought with money uh, made running a movie 
movie pirating site until 2013 uh, site until 2013 okay so that was very very interesting uh it is what it is you know people do what they do and that's what the internet was but just in blackrock and fidelity bitcoin etfs have both had more trading volume than grayscale in four hours of trading today you guys can see that over here uh trading flows and trading volume boom 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 look at that that is amazing guys look here 196 168 total volume that is starting to look really good guys and if you missed out on my video here and my live session okay my live session over here monopoly money i would seriously advise you going to go and watch that so that you guys can see what to do and how to plan for it because 97 weeks ago bitcoin closed above 44k right over there so we haven't closed above 44k yet but here we go so we're about to do that very very soon and i'm pretty confident that this weekly candle should do that if it does do that well we could see a massive pump to the all-time highs or we could just see kind of a capitulation phase still at this moment so uh you know it is what it is and there is very limited time left to get yourself into bitcoin and crypto and why is that well new bitcoin about to close up five months in a row for the first time since the last bull market there are people still waiting for 12k so here is the green five months then we had a drop then we had a pump six months okay a plus five green months is over here so maybe we have a little sit down a capitulation and then we have a pump what do you guys think do you guys think we're going to have a pump or do you think we're going to have a dump and if we're going to have a pump what do you think the price will be and if you think we're going to have a dump what do you think the price will be let me know down in the comments below guys all right so just in the nine bitcoin etfs now hold together collectively 150,000 plus Bitcoin in just 13 days of trading, guys. They are scooping up the Bitcoin like you cannot believe. And if you think that you have time to collect and accumulate Bitcoin right now, you don't. You have up until the halving, which, guys, as of today, is officially like 84, 85 days away. So I would not miss out on this opportunity. Make sure you guys are subscribed not missing a single second of this content and i truly appreciate you let's go and see this video right here from uh billionaire tim draper who says there will be a bank run and will be able and we will be able to buy food and pay rent on bitcoin let's listen to what he has to say i, I miscalculated on how aggressive the you how you know, scared the, government, the U.S. government was running. And now they realize that Bitcoin's actually better for everyone. It keeps perfect records. It, um, you know, the, the people who they all thought were criminals using Bitcoin, turns out they were all caught. So using dollars is probably better for um, for a criminal. Oh, um, and, uh, so and I think that there's going to be a moment where there's a run on the banks the way after the Civil War, there was a run on uh, Confederate money and there was a run on the Greek drachma and a run on the French franc when they became a part of the euro. So I, I actually think that there will be a moment in time when I can buy my food, clothing and shelter all in Bitcoin and uh, and people won't want dollars anymore. I don't know if you heard that, but people at that point won't want dollars anymore. And that's why when the altcoin season starts, okay, it already has. Guys, I have been accumulating altcoins all the way since here. So I don't care that I've gone up and down right now. I've been accumulating altcoins since here and all throughout the bear market. Where do you think the altcoin market is about to go? I don't know about you, but you can't even have this full screen on the chart. So we're going to make a slow grind up. But once we do get up, guys, we're going to go from like a half a 
a half a trillion dollar market cap at the moment to like a five, four and a half, five trillion dollar market cap. That's a 10x just in altcoins minus Ethereum and minus Bitcoin because that's what this is. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So if you want to make some of the biggest gains, well, then you will have to make those gains against um, and trade them against Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of your blue chip tokens, really, because those are essentially the safest tokens, guys. So accumulate Bitcoin, accumulate one Bitcoin. And if you guys at watch British HODL, then you guys will know a little bit more about that. If you don't know who British HODL is, go check him out, go follow him. Um, let's go show you him here, British HODL. Here's British HODL. Um, he's actually such a straightforward gent. I haven't had an interview with him just yet. Hopefully one day we will. Shout out to you, British HODL. Um, but basically, uh, he's incredible when it comes to telling us about Bitcoin. And actually, you know, here's an example. In less than 15 trading sessions, the ETF combined hold, the ETFs combined hold 642,765. Now, bearing in mind that that is mostly gray BTC, um, GBTC, because it is still the king, both on AUM and volume, are both important. They've both bought net. Um, uh, where was I? They've both bought up net 23,765 Bitcoin in less than 15 trading sessions. This is 1,584 Bitcoin a day net acquired. This level of current demand until the halving predicts predicted 17th of April, they will need to buy a net 90,228 Bitcoin within the next 77 days. It's cool looking at BlackRock and Fidelity inflow, but I think the net number is quite terrifying short term and long term too. Consider this, assuming the institutional ETF marketing doesn't turn on, the advisors don't come online and start selling, the retail mania doesn't happen because of price increase, no other demand comes in and miners continue to sell. Between now and the end of this year, there are 242 trading sessions. Assuming zero increase in demand from average of the first 15 trading sessions, it means the ETFs will need to accumulate net 383,328 Bitcoin in 2024. Are you ready? I freaking love this guy, man. Shout out to you, Bitcoin HODL. Uh, sorry, British HODL. And um, should actually call you Bitcoin HODL, eh? Uh, but uh, British HODL, shout out to you, man. This is really good articles. I love watching you. So, you know, really cool stuff and, and channel. I hope to, to uh, chat to you one day. Guys, to the community, make some noise and share this post with British HODL wherever you can, if you're connected with him. And let's see if we can get an incredible interview on Bitcoin and what exactly Bitcoin is. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, we all need to accumulate one Bitcoin. And that's what we all talk about, guys. Because like I keep saying to you, there are 55 million, million millionaires in the world. And there is only like 18.9 Bitcoin, 18.9 million Bitcoin left. Okay, in the world. So guys, for me, very plain and simple. Hit my buy button link down below. You guys can get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Really incredible. Buy it, trade with it. Take your profits, buy Bitcoin, buy the altcoins that you want, make more money on the altcoins, put them into Bitcoin. Super simple strategy. Okay. Um, I will do more videos on that. I have, as I've been saying to you guys, I've been really busy with an acquisition. We are finalizing and concluding the deal this afternoon. So shout out for me um, with a thumbs up on the video and really appreciate that love from all of you guys. Now, you can see my Bitcoin trade is still up. It's up 84%. So it's still cruising. I'm still going to hold it probably until we get to about the 45, 46K level at the absolute most, guys. Um, until that point, uh, I will definitely be taking like half profits there because maybe there we see a bounce back here. And that happens for the next kind of 84, 85 days until the halving happens is what I see. So it's an opportunity to trade from the bottom to the top. Um, however, I'm not going to be selling any Bitcoin or taking any short trades at this moment um, because of that. So XRP fell drastically yesterday. I don't know why. If any of you know why, let me know down below. But now my trade is back down in the in the in the dust here. 
Um, and that's actually not good because that's an engulfing candle. And that candle engulfed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other candles. So that's not fun. But if you guys want to trade on uh, Bitflex, hit my link down below. You guys can get deposit $100 and you guys can get yourself $10 for free. Hope you have enjoyed that. Much love and beautiful blessings. Please, if you have not yet subscribed and you are part of the 76% of my channel and my viewers that are watching this, and if you're still watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, please smash the subscribe button, guys. That really helps the algorithm on YouTube. Um, I have some cool videos coming out for you a little bit later on today, so let's not waste another single second. Love you all. Take care and have yourself an incredibly beautiful day.